November 3rd, 2024, Daily Bread Passage, 2 Samuel, Chapter 16, Verse 1 through Verse 14 Key Verse 12 Title, The Lord Will See My Distress When David had gone a short distance beyond the summit, there was Ziba, the steward of Mephibosheth, waiting to meet him. He had a string of donkeys saddled and loaded with two hundred loaves of bread, a hundred cakes of raisins, a hundred cakes of figs, and a skin of wine. The king asked Ziba, Why have you brought these? Ziba answered, The donkeys are for the king's household to ride on. The bread and fruit are for the men to eat, and the wine is to refresh those who become exhausted in the wilderness. The king then asked, Where is your master's grandson? Ziba said to him, He is staying in Jerusalem because he thinks today the Israelites will restore to me my grandfather's kingdom. Then the king said to Ziba, all that belonged to Mephibosheth is now yours. I humbly bow, Ziba said. May I find favor in your eyes, my lord, the king. As King David approached Bahurim, a man from the same clan as Saul's family came out from there. His name was Shimei, son of Gerah, and he cursed as he came out. He pelted David, and all the king's officials with stones. Though all the troops and the special guard were on David's right and left, as he cursed, Shimei said, Get out! Get out! You murderer! You scoundrel! The Lord has repaid you for all the blood you shed in the household of Saul, in whose place you have reigned. The Lord has given the kingdom into the hands of your son Absalom. You have come to ruin because you are a murderer. Then Abishai, son of Zeruiah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Let me go over and cut off his head. But the king said, What does this have to do with you, you sons of Zeruiah? If he is cursing because the lord said to him, Curse David, who can ask, Why do you do this? David then said to Abishai and all his officials, My son, my own flesh and blood, is trying to kill me. How much more than this Benjamite? Leave him alone. Let him curse, for the Lord has told him to. It may be that the Lord will look upon my misery and restore to me his covenant blessing instead of his curse today. So David and his men continued along the road while Shimei was going along the hillside opposite him, cursing as he went and throwing stones at him and showering him with dirt. The king and all the people with him arrived at their destination exhausted, and there he refreshed himself. Daily Bread Message While David fled from Absalom, Ziba provided David with what he urgently needed. Then Ziba told David that Mephibosheth remained in Jerusalem to become king. We don't know if Ziba's report has any truth. However, we do know David made a rash judgment. Without hearing from another witness, to confirm Ziba's accusation, David ordered that Mephibosheth's property be given to Ziba. Amidst his political and emotional turmoil, David broke his covenant with Jonathan that he would not cut off his kindness to Jonathan's family. 1 Samuel chapter 20, verse 14 through verse 17. We too need to be careful about believing gossip, particularly when it puts someone in a bad light. 
when David approached Bahurim, a distant relative of Saul named Shimei, cursed David for murdering Saul and his household, and he threw stones at David. Shimei's accusations were not only an insult to the king, but they were also untrue. However, David accepted Shimei's insult, since God had allowed it to happen. So instead of striking Shimei to stop his cursing, David hoped that God would observe all this bitterness and have pity on him. When faced with trouble and humiliation, David reflected on his sins and mistakes and humbled himself before God. Godly sorrow brings repentance, salvation, and no regret. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10 Prayer Lord, help me keep my priority on you, focusing on repentance and restoration after making mistakes and sins. One word, live before God's eyes.